Okay, let's move on to the next part of the video, which is about actually adding a customer into Powered Now. To add a customer, all you do is you hop over to Contacts. Or on the mobile, if you press the menu button over here, and you see Contacts there. Let's add a contact on the uh, tablet version. It's a bit bigger. As you can see, I've got a demo company set up at the moment. But let's create a new contact. You press the new contact button. And you get a screen which looks a bit like this. Powered Now is quite powerful when it comes to its contacts. We support uh, sites. We support plots. We support separate invoicing contacts. We su support separate regist uh, registered addresses. But if you want to keep it really simple, it's also very easy. So let's create a new company. We'll call it uh, Larry's Landlords. And you can put a mobile number into here as well. A mobile number is a really good thing to put in. The reason being, you can send any document that comes out of Powered Now as a text message. And text messages get some huge open rates. If your customers get a text message, they pay attention to it. So a quote or an invoice gets instant um, notification on their phone and they will see it straight away. So that's a really good thing to add. Let's add an email address for this customer as well. And you can add a postcode over here. So again, Powered Now comes with the postcode lookup. If I type the correct postcode in, there we go. And it also fill the information. We also actually have a company's house lookup as well. So if you know the name of the company, you can type it over here and press the lookup button and it will automatically pre-fill. I'll show you that when I create another contact. Let's press save. And Powered Now has created that new contact. We have this thing called projects. I'll talk about projects in a later part of this video. I'm just going to say no for the moment. But you can see Larry the Landlord has been added as a contact. If I hop over to the mobile version, you'll see that this has instantly been synced. And Larry the Landlord is over here as well. And if I click on Larry the Landlord, you can see some useful information about him. You can see the address, any notes you've added, contact details. I'll run through these other parts at the top as we get to it. But a useful feature we have, especially on your mobile, is the Google Map and Street View. Um, so if you click that button, it'll automatically show you where the address is. And of course, this is exactly the same on the tablet and desktop version as well. It's a bit bigger, so you can see a bit more.